Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Susil this side and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So in this video, we are going to see how we can filter the data from the data frame. So we can do the filter by using the filter and like operator. So let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical. So here we are having this file, which is a sales.csv file. So first we are going to read the data from this sales.csv file and put that data into one of the data frame. And then we'll try to see how we can filter the data from that data frame. So let me quickly go inside the Databricks. So here, as I have already created this notebook, so let me quickly go and try to read the data from that file. So for that, we have already seen, we can use the spark.read.option. I'm going to use the option just because the file is containing header. So I'm marking this as true. Dot, we wanna read it from the CSV file. And here we can specify the path. So we have already created the mount point in the earlier videos. So I'm going to use that. So under the sales, we have the file which is the sales.csv file. Let me put this into one of the data frame. Let me try to execute. So this DF will be containing all the data. So let me quickly see like display this DF. So it will be returning all the data which is available in this data frame. So as we could see, it is having total 799 rows. Now, the first requirement what we need to do we are required to rename the item name column name because the item name we can see it is having the space between item and name so in the actual requirement we just want to remove this space so how we can do that we have already seen in the last video how we can rename any column so let me going to use the df dot column renamed now the first parameter will be the existing column name which is the item name the second parameter will be the new column name so that will be item name and i'm going to replace in the existing data frame i don't want to create any new data frame so as we can see now space has been gone now let's try to start with the actual requirement the first requirement we just want to do the filter if your item name is having total income so how we can do that so for that we can use df dot filter and here we are having two methods by which we can apply the filter the first method if we are going to use these columns directly then we should be going to use the call function if we don't want to use the call function then we can use the df dot item name that should be equals to equals to your value which is the total income so let me try to paste it here and let me try to use a new data frame which is the df1 and display from this df1 now let me try to execute it so it should be going to return only those records which is having total income as we could see it got filtered and here we can see 25 rows so this is the first way by which we can do the filter but we can also use another way let me try to import the call function first so we can use the from pyspark dot sql dot function and i am going to import all the function now here instead of specifying this data frame again we can simply use this call function and here we can add the double quote now let me try to execute it it should be going to return the same output as we have seen so as we can see it is having the same output so by using these two methods we can do the filter inside this particular data frame now the next thing will be let me comment this out and display this data frame now the next requirement is we just want to do the filter if your item name contains total whether that will be total expenditure or the total income we want all those records if item name contains total so let me try to use the like operator next so df dot filter we are required to use and here 
we have to specify the column by which we just want to do the filter so we want to do the filter in the item name so we can use the item name and outside that we can use the like operator so dot here we can see the like operator and inside the like operator i am going to say like if that value is having total so i just want to put this inside a new data frame that could be df1 and let me try to display this df1 so it should be going to return all the records those are having total so we could see like the item names are having total that's why we can see total 122 rows earlier it was 25 rows so this is how we can do the filter let's assume if we are having the multiple filters so how we can do the multiple filters there so let me try to comment out this one and let me try to use df dot filter and here if we want to do the filter for the multiple columns on that scenario let me try to use the df dot item name equals to that value could be total income and let me put this in one of the data frame that is the df1 and let me try to execute so it will be going to filter and will be seeing only total income but here as we want total income and the quantity that should be five we don't want the all those quantities those are not five so if we are having such type of requirement then simply we can go and then we need to add the and clause so and clause we can specify the ampersand and again inside the bracket we can use df dot quantity if this quantity value is five we can close the bracket now let me try to execute and we'll see total it will be having only nine records earlier it was 25 because the quantity has been filtered now the next requirement is we want all those records if those are having item name is total income and quantity value is 5 or your SOID value is less than 63 so we just wanna all those records so how we can do that so for that here we are required to specify the bracket like this now and condition we can add and here let me try to use the df dot SOID less than or equals to 63 so what it is doing now it is going to filter out and we'll see all the data that is 70 records because the 63 records we are getting directly and after that we are getting the combination of the total income and quantity so it is going to return both so what it is doing first it is checking this condition either this condition will be true or this condition will be true so all game is only for this brackets so you have to remember while specifying such type of conditions make sure you are closing the brackets at the correct place so i hope guys you have understanding on the how we can do the filter by using the like operator and the filter operator thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video